Hi, I already have a video about this, but it was done July last year and it was in GIM 2.6 and that's why I'm guessing some people can't follow the steps of that tutorial because in GIM 2.8 there's some changes, for example the text along path option was moved from the two options to the text layer menu so that's why I decided to redo this video and make it easier for beginners to follow the steps again I'm going to show you how to put a text on a circular path and then align it and let's get started by going to the file menu new and I'm going to choose one of the templates let's say this one then click OK then I'll go to the image menu guides new guides and then just click OK then again go to the image menu guides new guides by percent and this time I'll switch to vertical and click OK next I'll choose the ellipse select tool I'll check this fixed option and also expand from center this fixed option will allow me to keep this aspect ratio and if you don't have this aspect ratio you can just click the reset button here and then choose fixed and expand or you can just type this here and next mouse over where the two guides intersect then click and drag then hit the enter key to apply the selection then go to this dialog and if you don't have this dialog usually it's here by default but if you don't have it go to windows Dacable dialogs and you can find it here now with this dialog selected I'm going to choose this option to convert the selection to path once this is done I will turn on this path to be visible and I'll go to the select menu none next step is to create your text choose the text tool click on the canvas and then type whatever you want I'm going to type this and then I'm going to change the size of the text but before that you can select the text with control A or you can triple click to select the entire text and then I'm going to change the size and also make it bold then I'm going to right click on the text layer and choose text along path next I'm going to switch to the move tool and I'm going to turn this text layer off I'm going to click on the background layer and click here to create a new layer then just click OK next make sure this new layer is active by clicking on it then switch to this tab and choose this option path to selection then I'm going to turn this off now we can fill this selection with a color and if you don't want this color to be black we can click here and change it to blue for example then click OK and then we go to the edit menu and select fill with foreground color then to select none I'm also going to turn off this circle I'm not going to delete it because later in the video I want to show you how you can curve the text in the opposite direction we don't need these guides anymore so let's go to the image menu guides remove all guides and now if you want to align this text we can drag a guide from the ruler using the move tool then we can switch to the rotate tool and also on the layers tab make sure you have this layer with the text and then just click and we can rotate this click on the rotate option then switch back to the move tool closer to the text then again the rotate tool and this didn't work that well so I'm going to click here to rotate again
then with the move tool I'm going to position the guide closer and this looks pretty much okay now before I finish I want to show you how you can flip the text now if I use the flip tool choose the vertical option and click here you'll see how this looks it's not what we want I'm going to hit Control Z to undo this I'll go to this tab turn on this circle and now with the flip tool selected I'm going to choose this option make sure we have vertical selected and also make sure this layer with the circle is active and then just click here to flip this now we can go back to the layers here and we don't need to make the text layer visible we can just right click on it and choose the text along path option and now you see that the text is curved in the opposite direction and we can read it and next we can repeat the steps with the previous text we can create a new layer from this option click OK then go to this tab choose this option to convert path to selection then I'm going to turn both these off and also let's go to the image menu and remove this guide next we can go to the edit menu choose fill with foreground color then select none then rotate to layers make sure we have the correct layer active and then we can rotate this and that's pretty much all for this tutorial I strongly recommend you get Inkscape which is a free vector graphics editor creating and editing text there is much easier and also it's very flexible you can correct mistakes after you have uh, put the text along path you can resize it and because it's vector graphics you can make it as big as you want without losing quality then you can export it as a bitmap PNG file you can then import it in GIMP and add it to your projects here so when it comes to text usually I prefer Inkscape both Inkscape and GIMP have their advantages and disadvantages depending on what you're doing so I just recommend you check out Inkscape and I'm going to include a link in the description for a video on my second channel about text along path in Inkscape and I hope that this one was useful if it was like it leave a comment and if you're new to my tutorial subscribe and visit my channel for more and that's it for now bye